Welcome back guys to the video. So let's talk about why is Fastly down so much after hours? F-S-L-Y. This is probably one of the hottest tech stocks out there. But guess what? It went from literally $116. It drilled all into $108 after hours. Boom. Earnings. It dropped to $94 right now. It's down 13%. It did recover from about $90.95. It was negative 16.5 at one period. Now it has went up a little bit. And currently, if you check out the overall earnings, guess what? It's an earnings peak. Everyone was expecting Fastly to pretty much lose money this quarter, about one cent per share, but they actually gained two cents per share, meaning they're making cash. And that is pretty awesome for Fastly. You can clearly see this is like the first quarter where they ended positive. But with such good earnings, why did the stock absolutely plummet like a rock? So if you guys don't know about Fastly, they have a ton of different customers. In fact, one of the good things about the overall company is they've been increasing their customer base. But one of the biggest customers that use Fastly in the United States is TikTok. And right now, TikTok is being hunted down and there might be getting a major ban in the US. It's super complicated. Keep in mind that TikTok has not yet right away been banned. There's still a lot of really crazy stuff to go around with. And so far, TikTok is getting a ton of heat from the US government saying how they're sending a bunch of data back to Beijing, which TikTok has denied multiple times. So with TikTok, literally one of Fastly's biggest customers could be getting a major ban. If you guys don't know, TikTok pretty much makes up 12% of Fastly's revenue. 12%. That's a lot. If TikTok is actually banned and not here in the US anymore, it's a really big deal for the company. That means there's a large portion of the revenue just simply missing. And keep in mind that Fastly does do business with Microsoft. Right now, Microsoft might not even want TikTok, especially how it might be selling for $30 billion TikTok USA. So this is really crazy. And then you have Instagram Reels just came out. This is by Facebook. It's a competitor for TikTok. So you clearly see TikTok is kind of feeling unwelcome. You're getting a major ban from the US. You're kind of forced to sell it to Microsoft. And then you got Instagram by Mark Zuckerberg just straight up coming out of a competitor. So things are lo really looking good for Fastly's biggest consumers. And so far, I mean, they are going with like Airbnb, you know, Buzzfeed, Twitter. They really do help a lot of really big companies grow. And you clearly see they've been growing themselves as well. And one of the biggest things about Fastly is losing TikTok is a really big deal. I mean, that is a ton of revenue going down the drain. And since investors are always super paranoid, super wary of you know really crazy stuff, even with a really good earnings beat, the CEO of Fastly even said like he's a little bit unsure about the future of the company. The guidance is a little bit fuzzy, and they got this crazy ban going on. Of course, the stock would absolutely plummet. And especially how this week, if you look at the overall growth, when you see a stock literally rise about 35% in a single week, earnings might just be priced in, meaning this initial growth has already been reflected on the earnings. If you wanna play earnings, don't play earnings day because this is most likely what's gonna get you. Please play the run up to earnings. A lot of people bought calls in the beginning of the week. They rolled it all the way up the day before earnings. They sold and they made a bunch of money from their calls and they didn't really care much about earnings. Earnings is super scary. People lose a bunch of money. It's not a fun time. Seriously, a bunch of really big options traders never play earnings. It's a really dumb idea. It's super volatile. It's pretty much going to a Las Vegas casino. That's about it.